Hi children, I am Suleka, Faculty of Botany, Professor P.C. Thomas Classes, Trishul. Now I am going to give you some important tips for scoring 360 in NEET Biology. One of the keys in doing well in life is being positive. Being positive means to be optimistic, avoiding negativity and thereby creating a positive environment. This will enable you to respond positively to any situations. Now let us see the pattern of NEET syllabus. The NEET syllabus for 2025 has a total of 83 chapters as per the latest NMC notification which covers all the three subjects like Basics, Chemistry and Biology. Out of 83 chapters, Biology has 32 with a 19 in plus 1 and 13 in plus 2. NMC has reduced the NEED syllabus in Biology by cutting 6 chapters and added 5 families along with the chapter Morphology of Flowering Plants. It is also necessary to have a detailed understanding of the pattern of NEET examination. As per the NEET exam pattern, there will be 50 questions from each of the four subjects such as Physics, Chemistry, Botany and Zoology. There will be two sections in each subject, namely section A and B. Section A has 35 questions and it is mandatory to answer all questions whereas the candidates need to attempt only 10 questions out of 15 of section B. Thus, out of 200 questions, candidates need to attempt 180 questions only of which 90 are from biology. Scoring 360 in NEET biology should be the primary objective of every NEET aspirant as it is the most important section of the examination. Now, going to the preparation strategies, you have to focus your attention in selecting the study materials and also in making a study plan. NCRT books are considered as the foundation for NEET preparation as it covers the syllabus comprehensively. To achieve the goal, you need perfect planning, dedication and a positive approach to preparation. Plan your study in such a way that you should devote at least 3-2 hours for biology every day. Read each chapter carefully, understand the concepts and prepare a brief note on important points. Also refer the modules that you get from the coaching center as well as your lecture notes and with this you can make all points more clear. While all chapters are important, identify the chapters that need more weightage from which questions can be asked more. Topics that need more weightage are living world, structural organization in animals and plants, plant physiology, human physiology, reproduction, genetics and evolution, biotechnology and ecology and environment. While reading the chapters, focus on key concepts definitions, diagrams, tables and all other important points. Finally, do not forget to study the summary section provided at the end of each chapter. An equally important point is developing a habit of regular revision. Prepare a revision schedule. Repeated revision will help you to remember the important points from which questions can be asked. The more you do, the better will be the result. Focus on basic concepts and make comprehensive notes by making flowcharts. Time management is the next important point. To manage your time effectively, practice solving questions from the modules, previous year's question papers and mock test within the allocated time limit. Answering previous year's question papers will give you a correct picture about the pattern of questions. It will also help you to enhance your speed and accuracy. In addition to simple questions, the paper may also include assertion reason type, statement type, matching type and multiple conceptual questions for which you need more time and concentration. Practice answering minimum 30 MCQs daily. Over and above, you have to maintain a record of your performance. 
This is to monitor the progress of your performance and to identify the requirements for change if any. Please keep all the above mentioned points in your mind and put maximum effort. Always remember that hard work is the only path to success. Remain healthy and focus on your studies. Thank you.